On This Week in Weed, Hawaii and New Mexico move one step closer to legalization. New York City bans CBD drinks and edibles, and Barney's has announced plans to open an upscale pot shop in Beverly Hills. This is a day's day with Mary J News and you're watching This Week in Weed. Dozens of states across the country are jockeying for the chance to become the 11th U.S. state to legalize recreational cannabis, and Hawaii and New Mexico have just moved closer to the top of that list. Last Thursday, a key Hawaii Senate committee unanimously approved a bill to legalize pakalolo, the local slang for weed. The bill would create a licensed and regulated retail market with a pot sales tax of 15%, but sales will not be allowed to begin until February of 2021. Adults will also be allowed to grow their own weed and possess up to half an ounce at a time. The bill has strong support amongst Hawaii's lawmakers, but Governor David Ige is not as enthusiastic. Ige recently said that he is concerned that even though the federal government may allow the state to legalize, they might also prevent local pot businesses from transporting weed from one island to another. Also last week, New Mexico lawmakers advanced their own legalization bill. A state house committee just voted to approve a bill that would allow adults over 21 to possess up to two ounces of flour and 16 grams of extracts. What's more, the bill would create a fully regulated retail market and allow former pot offenders to clear their criminal records. Insiders believe that the bill has a good chance of passing the New Mexico House, but the state senate has been traditionally less open to legal weed. Fortunately, new Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham is firmly in favor of legalization, so the land of enchantment might just be in luck. Sometimes the tide of legalization ebbs and flows, and just as New Yorkers are coming up in terms of THC legalization, the state is also cracking down on CBD. This January, the federal government officially legalized hemp and all hemp products, including CBD. Within days, CBD-infused edibles, drinks, oils, and lotions began to appear in every corner of New York City, from your smallest neighborhood bodega to one of the poshest shops in Midtown. But while it is now legal to sell CBD on its own, the Food and Drug Administration still prohibits manufacturers from adding it to any food or drinks. And now in NYC, officials are moving to enforce these rules locally. Last Tuesday, the City Health Department began confiscating CBD-infused drinks and foods from local restaurants and cafes. So far, 11 restaurants have been specifically ordered to stop adding CBD to food. New York is not alone in this decision. Maine and Ohio have also started cracking down on CBD products within the past couple of weeks. And in other news, luxury department store chain Barney's announced its plans to get in on the weed game by opening an upscale pot pop-up in its Beverly Hills flagship store. The new store, aptly titled The High End, will sell deluxe paraphernalia as well as select cannabis products from local pot producer Bebo. As you can guess by the name, the High End's products will cater to the wealthiest of customers. The store plans to offer gold rolling papers, hand-blown water pipes, designer horn lighters, and even a $1,475 sterling silver weed grinder. Looks like you'll need some serious green to shop at that store. This is the Days A from Mary Jane News. For all your weed news needs, check out MaryJane.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channels, Mary Jane and Westfest TV, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Mary Jane. As always, Godspeed and good weed.